Hey everybody, I'm Jason Cronin here uh, from Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness, and thank you for watching today. Um, if you're one of my clients and you're asking questions about how to use that fitness app, here's how you use that fitness app that I've been asking you to use. It's called Virtua Gym Fitness App. You download it in the Play Store, Google Play Store. So I'll show you how to download it. It's actually right here. You see that little uh, triangle? That's the Google Fit, or sorry, Google Play Store. And this software links to Google Fit. So if you click on that, and it will ask you uh, what you want to download, and you'll type in up top. So for instance, you can search for, and you can search in uh, Virtua Gym Food. So the apps you're going to use is called Virtua Gym Food, and in Virtua Gym uh, fitness app. So I do Virtua. So V. I'll do this V. I. R. T U A G Y M. Fitness tracker home gym. So you see right here, it says fitness tracker home gym the third one down with the little guy with holding the dumbbell that's gonna be the one that you're gonna choose to start off with the fitness app I already have it so I'm gonna click on it and now it says update I don't need to do that I'm just gonna go back into my settings and I already have it so I'm gonna click on the guy with the little dumbbell right there it says Virtua Jim the guy with the dumbbell and click on that. And that's going to go right into the software. So as I see, it says Virtua Gym. Now your trainer has focused and designed a program for you. So for my clients, I tell them right now just to focus on the calendar. Depending on the person, uh, the program will be on a certain date. For my clients right now, I focus on the calendar. That's where all their programs are at. Then if you want to find out exercise that you want to do on your own, you go to activities. Challenges is a challenge a trainer can send you. Or you can do a challenge on there. Whatever exercises you do on your calendar that pertain to the challenge. You can use those as well to go right to doing a challenge. And also the progress that you have. If you put in your height, your weight, and also uh, input all your data working out and what you're losing, then the progress will show up right here. Let's focus today um, first on the calendar. The calendar is right there. Click on the calendar. As you can see right here, there's no... Um, information on the calendar due to the fact that um, this is my calendar and I didn't put in any information yet for myself. But if you want to uh, work out and your trainer has put a uh, dumbbell on the calendar, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. I'm going to go back. So, for instance, if I decide to uh, send my client a program, I put it on the calendar here for them. And there will be a little dumbbell on there. I'll show you later on when I go to my coaching app what that looks like. Then, if you want, for instance, to add exercises and also try out new exercises that you may have uh, been taught at the gym or with your trainer, click on the dumbbell. And as you see, you can click on it says all muscle groups. All equipment. If you click on all equipment, it will actually pop up right there. It says all equipment. And that will pop up different types of equipment. And according to what muscle group you want to work out, you click on muscle group. Now this is a very cool program. Due to the fact there's a person on here, I click on chest. All the exercises for chest pop up regardless of the equipment. If you just want equipment, say certain equipment that you're using, I can say I want to use balance ball. All the exercises for the balance ball are going to pop up. If that didn't pop up, then you're going to go back, 
try BOSU ball. Everything on here is for a BOSU ball exercise, like push up, reverse, BOSU. And as a, you click on that, and then you click on a video, and it shows you how to do a BOSU ball push up. So if you had a little dumbbell on your calendar, your trainer will have all these different exercises put into the program for you, and then you just follow the video on there. And just go back, or you can hit the back button on your tablet. Usually that works well. Or your phone is a back button on top of the software. So right here is activities, like I mentioned before with the dumbbell. Virtua Gym activities. If your trainer sent you a program, it's going to be on your calendar. If you want to do, for instance, challenges, your trainer might have sent you a challenge via email, and it's all different challenges you can click on. You can join the challenge, or you can actually decide to, uh, the trainer can make up his own challenge as well in the software system. So if I hit squats total, the squat challenge, you can actually compete with other people in the world that are doing the squat challenge, and then you, you can actually input all the squats that you do, and it should go right to the challenge. There was a few issues with that. But right now, um, they're working on that. But it should work if you do the challenge. And it send you like a little medal if you complete the challenge. We'll go back. But for my clients right now, I want you to focus just on the calendar. And then you'll see a little dumbbell on the calendar for you. And then that will be the actual workout that you do. I'm going to go on my coaching app real quickly and show you what that would look like for your workout. My next video is going to actually go over the nutrition app for you as well. So I'm going to go out of here, get out of the software for a second, and show you what it looks like in my coaching. You won't need to download the coaching app. Only the trainers do that. My coaching app. It's asking to re uh, review. I'm going to click on a client just for the heck of it. Right here, one of my clients. You probably won't see who it is. This is for HIPAA law. But then I'm going to go on the calendar. And right here, you'll see a little dumbbell. So you might see a dumbbell right there on the calendar. I'll zoom into one of the days. You see those little dumbbells? You click on one of those dumbbells according to the date you're on. I'm going to zoom right there. Okay. So basically... You click on that, and then you'll see the workout that is according to that day. And it says squats on there. There we go. And the person will click on the squats. We'll do the squat exercise following the video. And then when they're done, they just check it off, and then they're all set. And then you go back. And that's one of the challenges that I gave this person. They would check off the squats right there, and then they're all set. And that shows that they did the squats for the day. And just click back. So whenever you see that dumbbell, that's basically the workout that's assigned to that person. So where that dumbbell is, that's the workout that, that your trainer has sent you. And we'll go back to the software one more time. There's three apps for the trainer and two for the client. Go back to the Virtua Gym app and click on the calendar and you'll have your workout on there your trainer has sent you. I'm Jason Cronin and thank you for watching the Virtua Gym Fitness Tracker app. And I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned to the next video. It's going to be about talking about the nutrition app. Thanks and have a great day.